Thank you for joining us. I'm Yoon Jung Min. On the eve of the five-day Chuseok holiday this year, transport hubs are already busier than usual as many people start, start traveling to visit their loved ones or are setting off on vacations. Now, let's go live to one of those places. Our correspondent Yi eun is at Seoul Station. eun what's it like over there? Jungmin, I'm at Seoul Station, South Korea's busiest train station, serving more passengers than any other in the country. As you mentioned, the Chuseok holiday, spanning five days this year, begins tomorrow with the start of the weekend. This means that mass travel across the country is expected to start tonight. So I'm here to show you a glimpse of the scene. Chuseok, along with Lunar New Year, is one of South Korea's two major holidays. During this time, millions of people travel across the country or even abroad. Also known as Hangawi, Chuseok is the Korean version of Thanksgiving. This year, the holiday period is from September 16th, 18th. And with the weekend before it, the break stretches to five days. It's definitely a time that leads to some of the biggest crowds of the year, affecting train stations, roads, and highways, as many people travel outside of the capital city, Seoul. The Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport expects approximately 37 million people to be on the move between today and Wednesday, which is the last day of the holiday. The total number of travelers has actually decreased by over 9 percent, but the average daily travel numbers have increased by nearly 6 percent compared to last year, likely due to the shorter holiday. Let's listen to what some of the travelers had to say. It's the holiday, so I will meet my family and friends. During the holidays, buses and cars take a long time due to traffic and trains are faster, so I decide to take the train to go see my family more quickly. This Chuseok, I'll be heading down to spend time with my family, enjoying Songpyeon rice cakes, having dinner together, having drinks, and maybe even playing a bit of games together. Right, uh, it certainly looks busy. And Unhi, what are some tips for those planning to travel over the holiday? The best advice would be to avoid traveling next Tuesday, which is the actual Chuseok Day. Tomorrow is the start of the holiday period, but Chuseok Day itself falls on Tuesday and is expected to be the busiest travel day. The Korea Transport Institute predicts the overall peak in terms of the number of travelers to be around 6.9 million. More than 88 percent of travelers are expected to travel by car. In the busiest hours, travel times could be much longer than usual. On the return journey from Busan back to Seoul, Usually on the day following Chuseok, Wednesday, most prefer the afternoon hours, so the traffic congestion is likely to be severe at that time. Coming back to Seoul from Busan could take more than 10 hours. To minimize inconvenience, the government has designated today through next Wednesday as a period for special transportation measures for Chuseok. Key measures include waiving highway toll fees for all vehicles for four days starting Sunday and expanding the capacity of public transport, including buses, trains, airplanes and ships. Buses and rail services will increase trips and seats by more than 10 percent compared to the non-holiday period. Additional measures include installing temporary restrooms at highway rest areas for improved convenience and adding firefighting equipment for electric vehicle fires to ensure safety. In the last two days of the holiday period, Seoul subway and buses will run later into the night than usual. That's all I have for now. Back to you, Jungmin. Our EUNHE reporting live from Seoul Station. Thank you.